Hey everybody, it's Mike again, and today we're going to talk about setting up Flowwise AI with Coolify. Now, if you want to go right to the install, I'll leave a timestamp in the description. I do want to go over the differences, though, between self-hosted versus cloud, because there is some pretty big differences between the two. So if you just want to go to the install, just check that timestamp. So Flowwise is a really cool LLM. You know, you can build your LLM apps easily. You know, but it does have a paid plan. So if you go to pricing, you know, they do have a $35 a month plan. Now, if you were going to um, run this in production, you might want to consider spending this because if you're self hosting this for production, you probably are going to run into $35 a month real fast. But that's up to you. Um, I will mention that on the Flowwise docs, I'll leave this in the description. It does tell you how to run it in production. And this is way above my pay grade to try to figure all this out. So I'm not going to go over any of that. But I will mention, though, that this is what's not included with self-hosted. So I'm just going to start at the bottom here, though. So files. Um, it saves files on your cloud. But you can set up a database. So you can set up a Postgres or Postgres. I can't talk today. So, yeah, you know, you can see. You can do storage. Um, the log function function is is basically a debug function. But once again, if you you can set up debug in the variables when you're self hosting it. So, I mean, I don't know. Now, this data sets, evaluators and evaluations. I mean, this is kind of cool. And it's not available on self hosted. But a data set is basically like you can create custom responses for your agents. So like when somebody says hello, you know, it'll reply back a certain way. But once again, it's AI, so that's not set in stone. Your evaluator basically just, the evaluator here basically, it tests this to see if it's working properly. And then the evaluations, you know, will go through the entire process and see if your, your agents are hallucinating or if they're pulling the right data. So, I mean, these are really cool, but... If you're just testing and trying stuff out, you know, you might not have any use for these because, you know, you can just keep changing your responses and your 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 prompts and all that stuff. But like I said, if, if I was going to use this for production, I would probably pick the cloud for myself. Um, but I'd use the self hosted to test because. I think it's a lot easier. So you will need your Coolify open. Um, oh, yeah, here it is set. On my screen now, as you can see, you have everything. You even have access to the market marketplace. Uh, you can set up your credentials, uh, variables. Your API keys are already available. So, I mean, everything's here for you, and it's really cool. Um, I will mention, too, that on the Flowwise GitHub, um, we're actually going to use Docker for this. I find this easier. But there is, if you go down here, there is a chat embed that I want to mention, and this is how you would. It has a JavaScript that actually allows you to put your your Flowwise chatbot on your website, so you might want to look into that. Um, and like I said, we're going to go to Docker Hub. I'll leave all the links in the description below. Um, here's all your environment variables you can set up. So, I mean, there's there's tons of stuff you can set up because. Yeah. So yeah, let's get on to the install. So of course, let's go to our projects and your Coolify dashboard. Go ahead and add a project. Let's just call this flow wise AI test YouTube. Did I spell that right? And then of course, we're just gonna click production. We're gonna add a resource. And then for this, we're just going to go down here to the Docker image again, because that's all we're going to set up as a Docker image. It makes this really simple. So we'll just click on that. Then when you go to the Docker hub, which I have too many windows open. So we're just going to go to tags and I'm just going to pick the latest version. Now, this is probably the beta version. So I would just pull this. So it's Flowwise AI slash Flowwise colon and whatever version you know by the time you see this video comes up 
And so just going to paste that in our Docker image and hit save. And then as you can see, everything pops up. Uh, we can just name that, rename this. So Docker. Keep trying to add an E in there. Flowwise AI. YouTube, if you want to set up your custom domain, this is where you would set it up. You can just change this to a custom subdomain. Once again, I'm just going to leave it like this just for testing. And because I already have one running, I don't want to cause any conflicts. You need to make sure your Docker image populated with that. This populated with that. Now, when it comes to ports, you have to pick the port again, which if we just go back to Docker Hub, it's basically port 3000. I can't find it on here. But you want to expo uh, expose port 3000. If you have a different port, you will need to set that up. But for testing purposes, port 3000. Uh, go ahead and click Save. And then we need to set up environment variables because there's none set up in here. So if we go back to the Docker, I am just going to do the simple ones of username and password. So if we go back here and go to developer view and just paste this, then we save this. What's really cool is if we go back to normal view, so we have Flowwise password and username. So our password, I'm just gonna make it simple. Uh, my username, I'm just gonna make it simple. I just made it, yeah. So we'll just set that up. Um, and that's basically it for that. Uh, just always make sure you save. And then we'll just go ahead and deploy this and let her run. And it doesn't take very long. It'll actually pull it really quick. So it's actually already done. Didn't even have to pause the video on that. Uh, if we go to our links, click our link, you'll be, uh, it should pop up with the username and password. Um, I just made this that, and I think this was one to, obviously this will be deleted by the time you get there. What did I do wrong? Oh, it's just one, two, three, four. I guess I didn't save that. Oh, I didn't update them. So yeah, if you want to update these, you have to do one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then update. And then I'll change this to this and then update. Actually, this isn't going to work because I'll have to redeploy because the variables won't take place. So let's just go ahead and do that. So I'll just redeploy this. It'll still just take a couple seconds, just like that. Everything's good. Now you don't want to work. Awesome. Let me just close that one. Maybe that's the problem. Links. Oh, there we go. So I am in Flowwise. And once again, this is where you would create your chat flows. You can create your agent flows. You can set up assistance. They have the complete marketplaces on here. Um, you have your tools. This is where you'd set up all your credentials for your AIs. You can also set up variables. Um, it gives you a default API key. I would probably go ahead and delete this and create a new one just to get rid of this one because who knows, this could be a copy. Then, of course, your document stores is where your documents are stored. But, of course, they're just saved on your, your drive, so you might want to set up um, like a Superbase or a SQL or Postgres or whatever to have redundancy. But, yeah, that's basically it. Then, like I said, if you wanted all the environment variables, I have those somewhere. I keep missing it. So here's all of the variables. So, I mean, you could change the port right here, say 3001, and then just change the other thing to that, you know. But here's all of your um, variables you can set up. Here's your storage stuff. And then, like I said, if you wanted to run it in production, they do have all this stuff saying how they would run it in production using queues and API storage. And like I said, this is way past my pay grade. So that's all you have to do. You're all ready to go. And of course, if you like dark mode like me, you can click that. So there you go. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, uh, links in the description for all the stuff. And have a good one.